talk to after the game, Jack. So just kind of run, run us back through how you think you performed Saturday first. Um, you know, honestly, I don't think I do, did uh, anything bad. Obviously, whenever you, you don't turn the ball over, I feel like, you know, you got a chance to win. Uh, but, you know, just at the end of the day, we just defense played, defense played uh, one heck of a game. And, you know, they, they put us in chances to where, as an offense, we should have we should have been able to come out with that. You know, only having 13 points is uh, inexcusable for us. So is, is that the biggest takeaway coming out as you head in the Big Ten season now? Is making sure you take advantage of those field position opportunities? Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, we just got to we got to take care of our job on offense because, um, you know, our defense, they've played really well the past couple of games and they've, they've given us a chance to win and we got to take advantage of that. Just talk about, uh, I guess, the frustrations, like you said, Jack, you guys got that three and out the lead to score on the first drive. I mean, Notre Dame went three and out and yep. the first two times the ball. You had chances and you had the fourth down when Milton Wright got tackled. Just kind of just talk about the frustration not being able to get on track. Yeah, just kind of from when we watched the tape on uh, Sunday, just um, what we came out of it was just position groups on offense really kind of just took their took their turns of making mistakes. Um, you know, no position group really stood out and had a, a great game, and no position group really had a you know a poor game. But you know, it just one little thing here, one little thing there, just not being all on the same page is what cost us the game really. How do you think you threw the ball, and did you think you were able to take enough shots downfield? Well, you know they, you know they were playing their coverage pretty deep on us, um, but that's one thing I, I think we, we needed to take a couple more shots, a little bit more down the field. Um, you know, I, obviously that's what we like to do on offense, and you know we couldn't do that on Saturday. I mean, if you don't have David Bell on on Saturday, what what kind of this passing game look? I mean, we got we got weapons across the board. So I mean, obviously David Bell, you know, one of the best receivers in the country. But I think guys will step up. You know, we got a ton of guys that are hungry, that want to prove themselves. You know, and maybe for them they'll see it as an opportunity to uh, make a name for themselves. Do you think you should be more involved in the, in the in the running game at all, Jack? I mean, you've been able to buy yourself time with your feet to throw the ball, but did you think you'd be a little bit more involved with just running the football and um, design, design plays? Um, you know, that's up to coach, but, you know, if you asked me to do it, I would be up for it. <clears throat> um, it's something I think I, I could do, just, you know, not, not a ton, but, you know, here and there, you know, get the quarterback a run because you get extra blocker with, with the quarterback running the ball. So, um, you know, it's up to coach, but I'd be up for it. A two and one, Jack, uh, Big Ten opener at home. How big is this game? It's a big game for us, and you know what we preach is, you know, the most important game is the one that we're playing this week. We, we, we preach one game season, so um, this is the only game we're worried about right now, and um, we're coming out hungry. And I, we, I think we had a really good practice today, uh, especially on offense. And, you know, guys got a little ticked off from the game, so um, it's a big game for us. I mean, you know, I mean if you don't have David, I mean, does, does Payne and the tight end group become more of a factor? Um, in the passing game? Yeah, I mean, obviously we want, we want to get playmakers the ball, and um, Payne, I think this year has proved to be a, a good weapon for us. So um, he'll be up for the challenge to, to have him step up, I think. Uh, Milton Wright is a receiver who's struggled a little bit with drops just this season. Just uh, talking about him as a player, just how is he kind of coming into practice, you know, working hard to kind of correct some of those mistakes and continue to get better as the season goes on. You know, Milton, Milton's a good player, um, and, you know, he comes he comes to work. And, you know, today he came out to work, and with David out, you know, he, he wanted to step up and kind of show that he, he can be a number one receiver. So, um, you know, he's, he has had a couple drops, but that's not shying the quarterbacks away from him. We know, we know what he's capable of, and we're confident in his ability. How come you think you you were pulled? Um, I mean, just probably just the 13 points on the board. I mean, that's all. Well, that's all I gotta say about that. What uh, What about the Illinois defense? Concerns you, and kind of where, where do you think, uh, or maybe where where you think you can, you guys can make some make some noise against them? Well, uh, they mixed it up uh, last week in their game against uh, Maryland. They. They had showed that they were going to do, um, you know, some stuff in the first three games, and they 
you know, com they almost completely scrapped what they did in the first three games, and they brought out a whole new game plan. So um, we're not sure what they're going to do against us, but we got to be prepared for, you know, what they did early in the season and what they did in the last game. I know it didn't turn out like you or your brother wanted, but how cool was that you both got to start college games on the same day? You know, it was cool. Um, you know, it's something, you know, we've been working for for a while and just, uh, you know, I love that kid and you know, we've been working hard together, pushing each other, you know, ever since we were little. So, you know, it, it's a cool thing, but, you know, like you said, it kind of didn't, didn't go the way we, we want, especially for him. Right? <laughs> Did you text him and tell him you got to beat Northern Arizona? No, I didn't. I left him alone. Left him alone <laughs> to deal with that. Did one. he leave you alone? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure he didn't want to get on his phone. For me.